Right, uh, my name is Asif Ali. Uh, I don't have a presentation, so I'm just going to speak, speak from my notes, uh, which is right here. Uh, you know, I'm the co-founder of a mobile ad startup in Chennai called Assistance. Now we're called uh, Pogli Mobile. Uh, I would say that I'm a beginner in big data. You know, <laughs> just that's a disclaimer, right? There's an awesome use case that uh, Siddha, I think now Jod Sidhu gave, and we are not at that scale. I wish we were, but uh, so we are really beginner. I'm going to share some of our uh, experience quickly in five minutes, and then possibly you know, move to the panel for for the discussion, right? So, um, so why do we use big data? Uh, we use big data for uh, real-time analy uh, analytics, right? Near real-time analytics. I wouldn't call that real-time. It's definitely not real-time. Uh, near real-time data analysis. We are also beginning to use it for data modeling. We're trying to model data and trying to kind of build probability models and trying to find out uh, what user might click next. You know, we're trying to figure that out. We are also now beginning to use this on a new project where we're trying to compute the you know the CPM of the ads. If somebody is in advertising, you probably understand that at real time. So we're doing something called real time bidding. We're connecting to a few exchanges such as Google and Nextage and Popmatic and so forth. And uh, we need to come up with a number that we can tell them, hey, this is the price that we can give you for this ad, right? And if they like the price, they will serve our ad. If they don't like it, they won't. So we're also using a lot of data analysis. I wouldn't call it a big data analysis. We're definitely doing a lot of data analysis on the fly, uh, you know, trying to come up with that number. So these are the three use cases, right? Analytics, modeling, and data analysis for bit computation. Uh, we are currently doing about uh, 20 billion impressions per month, approximately, right? So that's a decent number. Uh, we started with the regular, you know, I'm a technologist myself. Uh, in big data, unfortunately, I haven't been too much hands on because there are people better than me in the company. You know, they sort of taken over. Uh, so we started with MySQL, right? And we scaled it out reasonably well. So we were using MySQL as. Uh, as early as when you were doing about 300 to 400 million impressions a day. Uh, but it was becoming quite difficult to manage because uh, MySQL, as uh, Navjot Sidhu pointed out, it's built for old TV. It's not built for log analysis, so there's a wrong use case. We knew MySQL, so we went with that. Uh, along the line, we realized that, hey, this is not what MySQL was built for, right? So let's figure out a better system that can do this analysis. And we evaluated a bunch of technologies and we came across Hadoop and uh, Hadoop nearly fit the bill for our analytic system so we straight away adopted that. It is not as easy as it sounds, it took us a while, <laughs> a lot of struggle and a lot of uh, time on to it and it's now a fairly stable system. Uh, it's become very mature as well so Sri uh, Krishnan uh, pointed out that downtime take three days, it doesn't take so much of time for us, probably takes half an hour or one hour maximum and if there's a downtime we can literally bring it back and even uptime is reasonably high. You know? So the systems have become more mature right now. Um, so we started with SQL. Uh, we moved on with the big data technologies like uh, Hadoop. We do have, I think, a petabyte, uh, nearly a petabyte scale cluster, nearly. I'm not sure if it is multiple petabytes. I know it's somewhere there. But it's generating a significant amount of data every single day. And it's getting higher every quarter. You know, the, the data velocity is very, very high. The growth is significant. and uh, so we are trying new approaches. So one of the new things that we are doing is quickly uh, we are adopting Headspace and uh, instead of writing uh, you know, simple things, right? simple changes. So Headspace gives us a different kind of capability and you can kind of read really fast the data. Uh, it does in turn use HCFS and instead of writing stream data, for example, we are aggregating something like what he's done. So we are pre-aggregating the data in counters. So instead of storing, you know, it's a simple technical thing, right? Instead of storing, Microsoft Internet Explorer visit it one time and then sum it up later. You could do a simple thing like represent Microsoft Internet Explorer with a byte value which is just 0, 1 and just increment that counter by 1 when you see that, right? So a lot of simple things like that is what we've been trying to do on Hedgebase and uh, we're trying to make the system better and better. That's our experience about big data. I would say we are in the initial stages. You know, it is a big it is a reasonably big cluster, 100 plus machines, I think nearly 100 plus machines and growing steadily. Uh, I think we will hit the 100 billion mark very, very soon, uh, each month. 
So, uh, <coughs> I think it's very early, guys. <laughs> so let's get there. <laughs> All right. And uh, so anyway, uh, uh, I think uh, big data is a great opportunity. Uh, I think we are all just uh, beginning to get our feet wet as startups in Chennai. Of course, companies like PayPal and Amazon are already uh, using it significantly well, and I think there's a lot to learn. So I'm here actually not to teach you, but I'm here to learn. And I think we all we can have a great discussion to try to figure out what is big data, where it could be used, what are the opportunities, how to apply it, and so forth. And that's why we organize this whole thing. All right, that's about my talk. Thank you.